What's up everybody, Carter here, and in this video, Paul J. Lipsy is going to break down a super effective and efficient way to start drop shipping on Amazon. I know a lot of people know Paul, the king of eBay drop shipping, well guess what, he also drop ships on Amazon, so he's going to start um, and just show and kind of break down a strategy that he's used, that he's had great success with. And hopefully that you guys can learn from and implement in your potential future or current um, Amazon dropshipping business. So, Paul, thank you once again for joining us. Of course. It's always great to be here. And let's go ahead and show them the super easy way and strategy of dropshipping on Amazon. Okay, awesome. So I'll share my screen. Um, and uh, the reason this strategy came up for me was because I was trying to find a way to make money online. And I wanted to start selling products, but I had no idea where to get started. Like, I didn't know how to talk to manufacturers, distributors, suppliers. I was just feeling like really overwhelmed by all of that. I didn't know how to make my own website. <laughs> so I was like, what's like, what would I have to do that would make this easy? And that's when I kind of realized that, hey, like I know how to shop online. I know how to buy items from other websites like Walmart or Home Depot. Would it be possible to sell those items on eBay and Amazon? So I started with eBay, like you said, but now I'm doing it on Amazon as well. And surprise, like I was pretty surprised, but it does work. Like it really does work. I'm doing tens of thousands of dollars a month using this. So I kind of want to just kind of break down what it is that I'm doing here. So, um, you know, obviously we're selling on Amazon here, but like I said, I'm, I'm, not buying these items from other websites, I'm sorry, from, from suppliers, I'm buying them from other websites, just like Walmart. So if you know how to shop on Walmart, it's pretty much that simple to sell the products on Amazon. So let me kind of break down the kind of flow of how this works. So you're going to find items that are being sold on both Amazon and Walmart, but are being sold for less on Walmart. Then you're going to tell Amazon that, hey, I have this same item and I want to sell it. And then Amazon will add you to that listing. And don't worry, we'll go more into this. It's just like an overview. Then once it sells, then you buy the item from Walmart, but Walmart will ship it directly to the customer for you. So you never have to handle the inventory. You don't have to buy the inventory up front. And then obviously you, you keep the money as a profit. So let me show you an example. Um, this is always the example I use because it's uh, very easy to deal with. Uh, Walmart has a brand that only they sell. It's called Mainstays. So if you search on Amazon for Mainstays, then a lot of these items are already being sold on, sorry, a lot of these items are being drop shipped from Walmart. Other people doing the same thing. So you can just find these items on Walmart by searching for the title. But check this out. If I open this up right here, and if you click, I wait for it to load. Uh, where'd it go? Right here on the bottom where it says have one to sell, sell on Amazon. If you click on that, you can sell the same item. It's, it's really that easy. You don't have to create a new listing. You don't have to take pictures. You don't have to write all of this stuff right here, all the sales copy. It's done for you already. All you have to do is say, Hey, I'm selling the same item. And it's that simple. Now you obviously want to make sure that the item you're selling is selling well on Amazon, right? You don't want to just sell or tell Amazon that you're selling a bunch of random items that are never going to sell. I mean, the beautiful thing about Amazon is that they don't charge you when you list an item up for sale. So theoretically you can list up a million products and it wouldn't cost you anything to list them up. But why waste your time, right? So one of the cool things that I have is a free Chrome extension called DS Amazon Quick View. So if you search for DS Amazon Quick View, you will see the first result. It looks like is this free Chrome extension and I'm all about free tools when they're available. And what that does is you see this right here all this information that says number 10,798 in Home and Kitchen. This is not normally here, but it is here 
because of that Chrome extension. And why this is important is because this is called the best seller rank, the BSR. And the best seller rank tells you how well the item is selling on Amazon. They literally give you this information. It's, it's pretty incredible. So something like number three right here, that item is selling really, really well. If someone's buying a futon, there's a really great chance they're going to buy this futon. But this one is almost 500,000. That's not great. It's not terrible, but it's not great. So if someone's buying something in the home and kitchens category, there's a small chance they'll buy this, but not a great one. Um, so you want to keep your your number about under 300,000. So this one would be good. Sorry, that thing keeps popping up. But this one would be good. It's 23,000. This one's 10,000. This one is 18,000. These are all good numbers. I would sell all of these items. And you can see it says mainstay. So these are all items that are being drop shipped from Walmart. So that's the basic model here. We're going to list these items up for sale just by clicking on that button. Now, obviously, if you're finding one of these items, you want to make sure that you're increasing the price of it enough so that when the item sells on Amazon, that's when Amazon takes their cut. They will take their cut and whatever's left over, you can use that to buy the item on Walmart and whatever's left over after that is profit. So you want to build all that into your price on Amazon. But again, you're not being charged until Amazon actually buys, sorry, someone actually buys the item from you on Amazon. Now, the other component I want to tell you about here, because this is a common question I get is, okay, I find the item on Walmart, I list it up for sale on Amazon. What if the price changes on a Walmart? What if it goes up in price? What if it goes down in price? Now, again, I like to find the easiest way to make things work. If I'm doing the hard way, then I'm going to say, well, I can either go into Walmart and Amazon every day and compare the prices, go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and change all the prices on Amazon. If any of the prices change on Walmart, if any of the items went out of stock on Walmart, make sure it goes out of stock on Amazon. That's a lot of work. That's not the easy way. The other hard way is, well, don't change the prices. And if the item does go down, uh, sorry, um, up in price on Walmart, and then someone buys it and I would lose money, then I'll just cancel the item, the sale on Amazon. But you don't want to cancel sales on Amazon. It's not good for your account. So again, that's the hard way. I look for the easy way. And the easy way is by using software. Now there's a bunch of different softwares out there, but I usually recommend this one for beginners. Um, I don't think it's the best one for Amazon drop shipping, but it's a, it's a good one. It will get you started and it's very uh, affordable. And what this does is once you list the item up for sale on Amazon, this will then make sure that any price changes on Walmart happen for your Amazon item. So if the item increases in price on Walmart, your item will increase in price on Amazon. So make sure you never lose money. If it decreases in price on Walmart, it decreases in price on Amazon. If it goes out of stock on Walmart, it goes out of stock on Amazon as well. So it's all automatic. That's the easy way. And here's the other amazing thing. This website, actually, this software actually shows you all the, soft, all the, the retailers it works with. So here is a massive list. You see this? We have retailers like Ikea, we have Office Depot, Overstock, Tom's, T-Mart, some of these ones I've never even heard of. We have Cabela's, obviously big ones like Walmart, Home Depot, Costway, Costco. So what this is, is a list of retailers that you can use to drop ship onto Amazon. So you don't just have to use Walmart. You can use any of these. So you can see there's a massive massive amount of soft um, uh, retailers that you can try and find items that are being sold on both. And that's the basics of how it works. Once, once you order it from Walmart or one of these retailers, they're going to ship it directly to your customer. If the customer for whatever reason wants to return it, 
All you have to do is contact Walmart. They'll give you a prepaid return label, which you can then give to your customer, and they ship it directly back to Walmart. So you never have to handle the items. And um, that's it. Like I said, I like to keep things simple. And for me, that's the simplest way to, for <clears throat> that I found to start an online business drop shipping onto Amazon. Awesome. So thank you, Paul, for breaking that down and definitely just showing like one of the easiest ways to start drop shipping on Amazon. And honestly, I think people don't understand how low of a risk the drop shipping business model is because you don't own any physical inventory. You're not having to go buy, you know, that sofa for $200 and try to sell it for 300. Like it's literally you just there's a sofa for $200 on Walmart and you're trying to sell it for $270 on Amazon and you don't even have to make a purchase until it actually sells on Amazon. So Paul, let me ask you, where all do you like to drop ship products from? I know you love Walmart. I know Walmart is huge, but are there any other retailers that um, maybe you've had good success with or that would have maybe even less competition if you want to talk about that real quick? Yeah, so the recommendation I always give to new sellers is to try a few different retailers, see what works for you. And the cool thing is that if you really are dedicated to this, you can go in and go on that list, see what's on there and try one of them. Let's say I, I see like B&H photos on here. That's a big like place people buy photo equipment from. You can go in there, go on their website, start drop shipping some items and really spend the time figuring them out because this gives you a big advantage when you're dedicated to just one or two retailers because you'll understand it better than most or everyone else. And when you can understand them better than everyone else, which you had a big advantage because you'll know what discounts work, how to get maybe coupons, different things like that, how their shipping works. And, uh, and that's really, really beneficial, uh, a big advantage over people who are just using them for the first time. For myself, I found I work really well with Walmart and Home Depot, and that's all I use right now. I find that having one or two, because again, I'm going all in with one or two, really is very beneficial for a very streamlined business. Gotcha. And are there any certain categories that you like to sell in like one sells better than the other or do you just you know find something where there you know there's sales history you know there's demand for it and you're willing to sell it if you can make a profit yeah i mean the the general rule of thumb is that there is no rule of thumb with this you just because the general rule of thumb is you, you look for products with the ranking and that you can buy low and sell high i don't care what type of product that is i'm going to sell it if it meets that criteria now for me I just found that I've kind of fell into some niches. Uh, I found that I sell a lot of tools and home improvement items. That's probably because I use Home Depot a lot, right? Mm. But other people I know are selling a lot of toys. I've tried selling toys and it just doesn't work for me, but they're <laughs> crushing it. So they understand it's probably because they have kids and I don't, right? Mm. So they understand it better than I do. And you, you'll find maybe you'll fall into a niche like that. The other thing I want to say about this, because this is a really cool thing that I've been looking at recently, is the other great thing about this model is it really lets you test the market in a very low risk way, like you were saying. So imagine if you were thinking about doing some wholesale, doing some private label FBA, and you wanted to find the perfect item to sell. But there's always risk there. What if it doesn't sell? This literally allows you to test to make sure that people are going to buy the item before you buy a whole bunch of them or start private labeling. So I know a lot of your your guests are sorry, your viewers are interested in those those business models as well. So I just kind of wanted to throw that in there. So, Paul, thank you for really explaining that. Like, I definitely think it's super, super important to, you know, really just focus on two sources, you know, two retailers um, that you can drop ship products from. But what really stands out to you with the drop shipping business model on Amazon? Not so much the model, but why do you think people want to drop ship on Amazon and why do you think it's just so it's so profitable? I mean, it's Amazon. Amazon is huge blowing okay. up and everyone knows that people are spending more and more money on that website every single day. And I think everyone everyone wants a piece of it and I think everyone sh should want a piece of it because I don't know if you you know this but 
so much of the money that's spent on Amazon goes to third party sellers like you and I, it's not directly to Amazon. And it's literally billions of dollars. Now that's an overwhelming number, but I like to say you only need the tiniest piece of that, the tiniest sliver of that to really make a huge difference in your life. I mean, for a lot of people, a thousand dollars a month would change their life, right? Mm -hmm. and, and certainly five thousand, ten thousand dollars a month, which definitely change a lot of people's lives. And it doesn't require you to have this massive store with this crazy infrastructure. It's just this simple business model and just getting a tiny piece of that huge company that we all know, Amazon. 100 percent true. So if someone wants to start their Amazon dropshipping business, you know, they want a piece of Amazon and they want to start becoming a third party seller and, you know, the potential to change their life. Where would you recommend they start or look to start consuming information? Because I know for myself, um, you know, I always like a blueprint. I want to if I want to be at this level, I want to learn from someone who's already at that level or beyond. So where would you recommend people go or look to, you know, learn more about starting their own Amazon dropshipping business? So I have put together a program. It's called Amazon Dropshipping Titans, and it is a full blueprint showing you step by step how to set up your Amazon account properly for dropshipping, how to get the right products. I have a huge section on product research. You go in depth, finding the best ones at the best price and listing those items, how to list them, how to set up that software I showed you so that it reprices your items. And so that that can work in the background while you concentrate on growing your business. And I've already had a lot of students who have taken it and have seen tremendous success with it. So I know it does work because it's worked for me, it's worked for them as well. And I hate, I never like using scare tactics, but I, I do have to throw out this warning. Just be careful who you get your information from because one of the dangers with Amazon is that they are very strict with how you handle your customer service. They have a huge reputation to protect. Everyone knows that they have outstanding customer service and they need to protect that. So if you just jump on their website, start listing products up for sale and don't know what you're doing, there is a very great chance that your account could get in jeopardy and you might actually get suspended. And that's bad because it's very hard to get your account back and it's almost impossible to start a second account. And I don't care who you learn from, just make sure you learn from someone who is reputable because you don't want to be in that position. And although it might sound very obvious how to take care of customers, Amazon has very specific requirements that are not always obvious. So you have to make sure you understand that before you jump into it. And that, again, I hate to use the scare tactics, but I do want to warn people about that. And obviously, inside my course, I show you how to avoid those problems. I show you how to keep your account in good health. But whatever you decide to do, make sure you understand account health before you start selling on Amazon. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Paul. And if you guys are interested in looking more into his program or just learning a little bit more about it, I'll have a link below in the description of this video. So definitely go check it out. Other than that, Paul, thank you once again for joining us on my channel. Love having you, man. You always drop a ton of knowledge and people love you, dude. People are always in the comments, you know, when's Paul's coming back? Um, you know, ask him about this, ask him about that. So, you know, it's always great to have you on here. So thank you once again for joining us. Thank you. And you guys know, if you want Paul on the channel again, all you have to do is just leave a like on this video. I mean, he took the time out of his day to come onto my channel and make a video for my channel. So all we ask is you just leave a like on the video. We really appreciate it. If you have anyone else that's wanting to start a business, um, they like drop shipping. Go ahead and share this video with them. Let them know that Paul is the king of eBay and Amazon drop shipping. So, Paul, thank you once again for joining us. And hopefully, we can have you on the channel once again. I'd love to. Awesome. See you guys later.